Hello and welcome back to Helen Joy Creates. Today we're going to do a real-time tutorial doing some Zentangle patterns. We're going to do the same basic pattern four times. I'm going to be using Bristol Smooth Paper, a 4H pencil, um, a hard pencil so it will do quite light lines, and then also my fine liners, my Pigma Micron 05 and also a Pigma Graphic size 1 pen. I did also use a Pigma Micron 01 pen later on. So I start with the graphic pen and just draw a rectangle, which then I divide into four sections. I like to add a small line in between each section just to give a little bit of space between each pattern, but you don't need to do that, it's just entirely up to you how you want to do it. Then I use my pencil to do my first line. So what we're doing is just drawing sort of rainbow shapes, is what I'll call them. Um, then you go to the middle of the first, the last line you've done add two more lines on top and then one more underneath. I just thought it balanced it better that way. So just keep repeating going the other direction following your first shape and then just keep working your way up the page doing that same thing. So start in the middle of your last one and go to the edge. Two lines on top and then one on the bottom. So if you keep doing that until you reach the top. So what we're going to be doing is ba this basic shape on all four of our designs but filling them in slightly different just to show you that you can do um, the same basic design but just changing it a little bit actually can make quite a lot of difference. I'll often do this process of trying out a few different designs before I make a final picture just so then I've got something I can refer to and um, I've already tried out how different patterns work together. So I used my graphic pen for this. I don't actually use the graphic pen normally, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, so just follow along the pencil lines, not always exactly, but um, yeah, just go up. I, yeah, like I say, I hadn't actually really used the graphic pen before I thought I would see what it was like. It was okay, it was a bit too thick really. I had thought because it was thicker maybe it would show up better for you on the camera, um, but in hindsight I'm wishing I hadn't used it. But it's fine, you try stuff out and you learn and you see how things work and that's what this process should be about for you as well. You try different things out, see what you like, see what works, see what doesn't. There's no right or wrong, there's just learning as you go. Trying new things out is something I've been really working on recently. And, you know, you might be pleasantly surprised. I've been surprised at what I've been able to do just because I've been willing to step out of my comfort zone and try something out. And, you know, it just takes a bit of patience and perseverance. Just keep going and before long you'll, you'll be able to do that thing. Okay, so I take up my pencil again just to try and figure out how am I going to fill these empty spaces. I mean, you could theoretically just leave them empty. That would be fine. You could even just colour them in whole. But I decided to add a few more lines. So you can see here I realised I had made that first shape at the bottom wrong but that's good. <clears throat> that's why you use a pencil first if you're unsure just to get those first few designs down to see how you're going to go. So I decided to do a thicker line almost like a fill-in on that first bit just to add a bit of extra dimension. And then just um, add in the extra lines. You can do different different thicknesses. They don't all have to be 
the same. You can change it up a bit if you want. Um, just, you know, sometimes you just have to go with the feel of it um, or be willing just to try different things out. Um, if you feel you've made a so-called mistake, um, it doesn't matter. You can, you know, they don't all have to be symmetrical and similar. So just keep going, filling each shape in until you get to the top. Don't stress about it as well. This is meant to be a nice, relaxing um, activity that you can enjoy. Maybe put some music on, just go with the flow. It shouldn't be stressful. It's all about trying stuff out and learning as you go. my rubber to take out my pencil lines it did actually remove some of the ink which is another reason I didn't really like the graphic pen very much I guess if you do make a mistake in ink it's handy to be able to rub it out but for this particular uh, thing I was doing it was a bit frustrating that it took out the ink with it if you're following along and need to finish your pattern, here's a good place to pause before we start the next design. For the next design, I decided to go back to the pen I'm more comfortable with, which is the 05, which is actually a fine liner that is 0 0.45 nib. So again, just repeating those rainbow shapes. I've gone straight in with pen this time. I've already tried it in the pencil. I know how it comes out, I'm happy with it, but if you feel more comfortable doing it in pencil first, that's fine, you can go ahead and do it in pencil first. fill-in design. Again I go in with pencil to start with. I'm doing my go-to which is florals. So doing my flower and petals. You just do a half circle at the bottom and then just add the petals on top. I find it easier to do a full petal first and then go towards the edges for the part petals. Again, I usually just do a couple of the designs in pencil so that I can get an idea of how it looks before I go in with pen. I don't usually do the whole thing in pencil. So I'm using the Micron 05 again, which is a fine liner 0.45mm. Then just go over the pencil lines. And fill in the white space. 
boxes behind the petals just so that they pop out a bit more. So don't worry if you have a small space just to do part of the flower. I didn't do the whole thing there. As you can see, I just did the tips of the petals. So again, a little semicircle filled in with a circle over the top. Then the petals again, starting with the full fullest petal and then adding in the edge ones. I then realised that my pencil line on this one, I had actually put the flower in the wrong way. So I had wanted the centres to be on the edges, which I then changed. So you can see it's worth doing it in pencil first just to start with, so your eye can see where it needs to go if you do make a mistake. So to make sure I have everything going the right way, I decide to put in the centres first, which is another good tip just to go slowly, bit by bit. So rather than doing a whole flower on each section, you can just go bit by bit. So do all the centres first, then add the petals in afterwards. So it's totally up to you what you prefer and how you like your process to go. I just find it's less likely you're going to make a mistake if you do it bit by bit like this. So just keep going, do each flower, fill it in, don't worry too much if they're not exactly the same, just do it one by one. Again, enjoy the process, maybe even experiment with slightly different shaped leaf petals. This is the time where you can try different things out, it's not a finished piece, it's just a try it out and see different designs that you can make. Another tip for drawing your petals is that if you imagine the centre of the centre of the flower is your point that all your petals come out of. It just helps you to get a good circular motion of the petals and them not all looking like they're coming from one direction. So if you want, you can do it in pencil first. So I know some of my petals there aren't quite doing that. But if I'd done it in pencil first, I think I would have got a better direction on the petals. Again, don't worry if you go over lines a bit, you can just always fill them in a bit. Just enjoy it. I just want to take the time to say a huge, massive big thank you for everyone who's subscribed. I've not even been going one week yet and I've already passed the 100 subscribers mark. So. Thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. Two patterns done now and two more to go. So again we're just going to add our rainbows to this rectangle all the way up just like before. So let's go on and do that.
geometric design again as that's out of my comfort zone. Try out just some zigzag lines. Having gone in with pencil first, then picking up my pen, I actually decide it will look better if I start my first line at the point of the previous line where it finished, so it's almost like a continuous line rather than a line that starts in the middle of nowhere. So that's another good thing to take into consideration on your designs. It just has a better flow if you're starting a line where another line is finished. So you can see I'm just starting that line from the end of the previous line. I then decide to do a little bit of filling in. And just to give it a bit of depth, it's nice to have a few darker areas. But if you were wanting this more as a colouring in page design, you might want to leave more white open spaces for colour. It totally depends on what you're wanting your design to be. If you want it to be a standalone design or a colouring in page. I then decide actually that pen was too thick and I go to my 01 size which is a 0.25 millimeter pence, uh, pen, not pencil, pen. Just gives me a bit more precision to be able to colour in.
done now. For the next pattern, I actually have my rainbows ready done, so now would be a good time to pause and get your rainbows done ready for the next design. So I've decided I'm going to go for a, <coughs> excuse my throat, <coughs> a bolder, darker design for this one. So colour in that first stripe and the top stripe, so the bottom and top, just leaving that middle stripe white. I started filling in with my Micron 05, which is the 0.45mm fine liner, but decided actually as I'm doing some thick colouring I would use the graphic pen so this is perfect for this job a bit wider nib so I could just fill in those lines much quicker go back to my 05 pen to fill in the details I decided to go for something a bit more delicate a lace type effect so to do that just draw some horizontal lines down equally spaced and then vertical ones to make sort of little squares then fill the connecting lines with little dots or you could do squares it's up to you but just fill those in so just repeat that again all the way up, trying to keep the spacing as even as you can, but don't worry too much. Just again, enjoy the process of, of trying it out. Again, after doing those first two, I realised that pen might be a little bit thick for the delicateness of the effect I was trying to get. So went back to my 01 fine pen to do those details.
there you go four different designs done but all using the same base pattern so why don't you have a go maybe try some other designs as well thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and please remember to subscribe if you want to see any more videos thank you